Hi, please excuse my dishevelled look. I've just been out in the bush, bushwalking, and I just thought, oh wow, my body's a bit hungry. I'm going to have an apple. Mmm. Oh my god, I just did something different with the energy of the apple. Before I started this video, I actually went, wow, what has this apple actually got to gift to me? Other than its delicious flavour and its crunchiness and its healthiness and all those other points of view that we have about apples. An apple a day keeps the doctor away, all of that sort of stuff. So I just started to destroy and uncreate every point of view that I ever had about this apple, about apples in general. Yeah, including those crazy ones like, um, uh, it only takes one bad apple to spoil the barrel. All of these sorts of points of view that we've got around apples and food. And I thought, oh, I'll do a quick video on it. So before that, I did all that destroying and uncreating, and then that bite that I just took, oh my god, the apple toast is so much juicier and so much sweeter, and I was able to receive it in a totally different way. Here in Australia and New Zealand, we have this thing about eating five fruits and three vegetables a day, I think, or two vegetables a day, five and two, five and three, something like that. Maybe you've got the same in your country. <clears throat> like, what, do you ever question that? What if that's not actually true for your body? What if this one apple, just by being totally willing to receive it in its entirety without having a point of view about it, about it being good or being bad or anything like that, you could actually receive your food in a totally different way. What would that create with your weight? What would that create with your body? And what would that create with your life? If you don't know me, my name's Liam Phillips, and welcome to a different way with food, a different way with your body. Catch you later. Bye.